Hi, welcome to Kentucky Collectibles. Thank you. So tell me, it's a very interesting painting. Tell me, uh, where did you acquire this? Well, I'm a big yard sailor, and I was at a rummage sale, uh, really actually looking for action figures, and they happened to pull these items out of a shed, and um, here was this painting that had a 10 cent sticker on it. 10 cents? 10 cents. Wow. And do you know about art? Uh, I'm actually an art teacher. I get to teach uh, elementary kids, and I teach uh, at the university at night. So my, my day is, is very well filled with art, not necessarily the art value of things, though. But you just were attracted to this just because it's sort of, sort of an unusual picture, too, and plus the price was right. The price was great. You yeah. couldn't beat a dime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, uh, it's something that I thought, well, maybe I'll bring in to show the students, and I'm a big sci-fi buff. Well, I'm a big Star it's a, Wars fan. It's a pretty cool picture. Um, we found it. It's signed on the bottom here. It's by a gentleman uh, out of California by the name of Anthony Quartuccio. And uh, he was from Sicily, and he moved to the United States when he was eight years old. And uh, they moved to uh, Paso Rubella, oh, I think like there, Paso Rubella, California. And uh, he went to school at the Gene Taylor Art School in San Francisco in the Bay Area. And he had a lot of important teachers uh, during, the, during his time in school. Um, he was in a lot of single man shows and a lot of art shows out in California in the Bay Area and also around San Jose. He liked painting landscapes typically and just scenes of California. However, he worked for NASA and he worked for NASA for over 20 years and he was with the uh, Ames Research uh, Center in uh, California and he was uh, a model builder and an artist for NASA. And this is before, he painted this before we got to the moon and before we got to see what a lunar landscape looked like. So this was a pre-lunar uh, landing picture that he painted what he thought maybe it would look like so, uh, at, for NASA. And it's very, so it's got multiple values. He worked for NASA, so it's something pre, before we ever got to the moon and got to see what it looked like on the moon. And he was a pretty well-known artist in the uh, Santa Clara Valley and San Jose area. And he also was a big time publisher and he wrote books on art, which you know. Right. And um, yeah, when he was 15 years old, he published his first art book. And he published a lot of uh, art books and uh, Tony's Guide to Painting and the Santa Clara Valley and everything. But so this, do you have any idea what something like this would be worth? I know how much you paid for it. It's, but. it's been sitting in my, my twin daughter's bedroom for a couple of years. She's admired it. So she claims that she gets to keep it. but. I really, I just don't know any value I think on because it. it's more like you say, it's like a science fiction picture because he never got to see what it looked like on the lunar surface till we, uh, till we landed there. So I think, he, and he was a well-known artist in California. I think you've got something today that's probably in the 800 to $1,000 value and it's a lot of different collectors. Would wow, be. that I would, I just, I, that I wouldn't have guessed. That's astounding.